Is it safe to come out? Is it okay to talk about Busby yet? So, yes. Are you here to talk about Busby? There's been a lot of drama, chaos, and controversy over what's been dubbed Thundergate, which apparently involved factories using incorrect, unapproved designs for this, the Adventure Force Thundershot. I'm not going to get too deep into this part of it, except to link to Mongoose Jake's super clear video explaining everything that happened, and to remind people that companies are not people, and they don't have feelings, but human beings work at those companies, and those human beings do have feelings, and they can make mistakes. And believe it or not, those of us who live here inside your screen making videos for YouTube are also humans with feelings. Instead, we should focus on the socio-political implications of our capitalist supply chains and the unpredictable nature of a complex web of interdependencies between overseas suppliers and manufacturers, and most importantly, the individuals who work for them. In this essay, I will- So today, I want to take a look at this blaster, specifically the operation of this blaster and the grip. Busby has a long history of making blasters that are obviously for kids, with their garish colors and quirky features. The Thundershot is no different, but as many have pointed out, the grip is just bizarre, even for Busby. It's simultaneously too large and too small for pretty much any user. There's been a lot of talk and speculation about this as a toy intended for kids, but something I haven't seen yet is the grip actually in the hands of a child. So what I'd like to do is to show you how real-world kids deal with the grip and the priming hammer of this blaster and the weird disconnect between their locations. I had three kids come into my studio, one at a time. None of them had seen the Thundershot before. What you're seeing here is each kid's first time seeing, holding, priming, and firing the blaster. Our first example is eight years old and is not really a nerfer at all. Interestingly, this child immediately picked it up with one hand, primed it with the other, and had no trouble using the blaster. Our second example, H7, has a good amount of experience with blasters, but doesn't play that often. This child took a moment to figure out their way around the chunky interface, but ultimately had no real trouble using it. And this is where it gets super interesting. Our last example is 10 years old, and they nerf regularly. They spent quite a while trying to one-hand wield the blaster and couldn't figure out how to do it before I suggested that they use two hands. After that, no problem. From this footage, and from speaking with them after, it's clear that based on their previous experiences with hammer shots, they saw a hammer-primed blaster and immediately expected it to be usable with one hand. The eight-year-old had no preconceived notions about what to expect from a blaster and just figured out a solution. All three of them loved the blaster and thought it was super fun to use. And despite the creakier, cheaper plastic, it felt big and powerful in their hands. Plus, they loved the colors. Just based on all of that, and the fact that it has a $10 price point for an 8 round revolver, I definitely recommend this thing for kids. Before you go out and buy one, I want to reiterate a point that Mongoose Jake made, because I still see people getting this wrong. If you go to Walmart to buy this blaster, prime the blaster in the package, and watch the trigger. If the trigger moves, do not buy it. It's the incorrect model with a weakened catch that will break easily. If the trigger is perfectly stationary, it's good to go. There is no other way to know for sure which version of the blaster you're getting. The finish of the cylinder does not tell you anything. And of course, while you're there, be sure to pick up some Adventure Force waffle darts, which are made by Dart Zone and are far more likely to hit their targets than the included Busby long distance darts, which I tossed in a bin immediately. And as for adults, other YouTubers have covered this really thoroughly, but the short version is the handle is too short, the grip is weird, it pinches your middle finger, and yet the thumb prime 
can't be reached when you're holding the grip with your finger on the trigger. There are already some great 3D printable parts out there that make this into a super fun and ridiculous hand cannon, so don't rule it out, but it will take a little bit of work to make it comfortable. If you like this video, please give it a like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, let me know what you think about the Thundershot, um, what you think about it as a kid's toy, if you think that it's really just a kid's toy and uh, adult nerfers should ignore it for the time being. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Or did Thundergate throw you off the Busby train completely? In the meantime, I will see you on the field. Yes. Thanks for the reminder, buddy. Yeah, I know. I left it loaded. <laughs>